What if I told you that this cooler is no longer legal stateside? Now, that doesn't mean that you'll go, believe it or not, in jail right away. If you're running a deep cool product in your PC, I'm not gonna go to jail for just having one. And this admittedly is news from a few months ago, but as of June, 2024, the company is no longer allowed to sell product in the United States due to sanctions violations. Yeah, I didn't have that one on my bingo card. So we'll talk a bit about that in this video, our past relationship with this brand as well, and how some distributors are skirting the law to offload banned inventory. I hope you'll stay with me. The Frozen A620 from ID Cooling looks especially elegant in its black and gold variant, but it was six powder grooved heat pipes and a dense dual tower fin stack for optimal cooling up to 260 watts. Two included fluid dynamic bearing fans are color coordinated and PWM compatible for stealthy operation when desired. Mounting is of course super simple and effective and the price is sure to impress. You can learn more about the ID Cooling A620 GDL and more by clicking the sponsor link below. Around the middle of June, 2024, the U.S. Department of the Treasury sanctioned a handful of Chinese companies. In Deepcool's case, this was for, quote, their involvement in the supply of over 1 million USD worth of CHPL. That's common high priority list items to Russian companies, including the U.S. designated Russian-based Actioner, no, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. I'm, I'm sorry to any of my Russian speaking viewers. I apologize for what you just heard. So these sanctions violations seem to address a link between deep cool product. I'm assuming cooling hardware of some sort. What else do they make? And Russian companies, the US has apparently linked to the war effort in Ukraine. Like I said, a bit bizarre. This caught a lot of us off guard in the PC space. I know that for sure. Many of us have worked with deep cool in either an official capacity or at least indirectly via product use and builds, promotional material, etc. And I don't think anyone could have seen this coming. I mean, even if we dug deep into the company's finances, which I don't believe are public, mind you, I'm not confident we'd have found the same links our own treasury department has. That said, and speaking for myself here, past affiliations can and do damage reputations by proxy. I mean, sure, hindsight's 2020, but that doesn't stop folks from referencing past videos of ours or photos online of us testing and praising some deep cool product. Even if I went back and deleted every video showcasing anything related to deep cool, it's gonna show up somewhere at some point. This is the internet. And it's a risk most influencers bear. By the way, this sort of sanction doesn't seem dependent on whether or not a company merely sells product in the country, right? Aerocool and others have very large presences in Russia and their reputations have remained unharmed for the most part, unless I've been living under a rock. From the Treasury Department statement, we can infer the misstep had to do with to whom the product was sold. In this case, a company explicitly mentioned in the executive order, searchable to this day. And this was partly why I wanted to wait a bit before making this video. I wanted to see if the sanction really stuck, if they were going to be banned for as long as some of us thought they would, or if it was just going to be a slap on the wrist, and they'd be back up and running in a few weeks. Today, you cannot find a single deep cool product on Amazon US or Newegg. This may even extend beyond US domains for eBay's retailers registered in the United States, which could explain why product doesn't show up on Amazon.de, Amazon.in, and others. But there are a few sellers attempting to skirt these sanctions. Efforts over the past few months have been either as cheesy as simply blurring deep cool logos to as complicated as completely rebranding entire product lines. Shaking Tank attempted to sell clearly deep cool branded merchandise, even retaining product names for searchability. I imagine that would be the only reason why they would, otherwise they would change it to something else to remain obscure. We first covered the story back in August and it was picked up by the likes of Tom's Hardware, Tech Power Up, and others. It should be noted that Deepcool denied any involvement at the time and actively sought to take down these listings from third party sellers. At least that's what they told us. Still by relation, this was not a good look and the Shaking Tank brand is still up and at it, mind you. Now a brand called iColer, I-C-O-L-E-R, is doing the same thing. I imagine this will continue despite Deepcool's quote unquote best efforts until remaining US inventory has dried up. But this hasn't only impacted them. In fact, you could argue they brought this on themselves, speaking to Deep Cool directly. Customers, however, are the real victims as well as the employees of the company uh, who really had no discretion as to where product was being sold or how things were being handled on the sanction side. There are no guarantees that warranties from Deep Cool can be upheld in such a climate anymore. I mean, doing business in any estimation includes warranty work, right? And shipping replacement product, I I imagine would be just as, if not more damning. So if you're currently sporting an LT520, let's say, like this one here, or a power supply, or an air cooler, or a case, and need warranty work of some kind, you may be SOL. And it's all because they allegedly sold to an entity, or entities, that they shouldn't have.
So yeah, there you have it. Deepcool is still, as of time of filming this video, banned from selling any product in the United States. And this has clearly affected other countries, perhaps to a lesser extent as well, due to ties with US-based companies like Amazon and Newegg. There are still companies attempting to skirt these sanctions by rebranding and Photoshopping product, and warranties may have gone up in smoke. Way to start a new year. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Consider leaving a like, subscribing, and sticking around for the next one. For now, though, it is bye-bye, Deepcool, and bye-bye me. My name's Greg. Thanks for learning with me.